Well, hello there. Oh, I really need to make myself a better stream starting, like, opening thing. So we'll do that. That'll be a thing. Be soon. So, hey, everyone. Hey, it's you again. How you doing, Adam? It's me again, too. Nice to see you today. Let's test out how loud this actually is going to be. Maybe if I turn it down for myself. So today we're going to play some Gone Home. Um, I looked it up on Twitch. I think I'm the only person streaming this. So, yeah. Uh, we've been playing Dishonored 2 on and off for the past couple weeks. Uh, I just... Yesterday... It just didn't hit, right? I wasn't really having fun with it anymore or anything like that. So I thought today, let's go play something I never played before. A lot of cl critical acclaim. Uh, everyone else has already played it. So um, hopefully no spoilers. Or, you know, you're here for the whole thing and, and you can. And uh, how was your day off yesterday, Adam? Did you go do some fun stuff? Uh, with that in mind, we are going to... Wow. No, that's not where I want it to be. There we go. Okay, and we're good. And we're good. Let's turn that music back on. Whoo! So we're going to play some Gone Home today. Uh, see what all the hype is about from years ago. And just enjoy it. Uh, if we get through this, and I'm still, I've still got the energy, we're going to play some uh, Where Is My Heart because I felt like playing some smaller games today we can just have fun with. Where Is My Heart is a puzzle game. Um, hopefully you'll get to see it. So, what we're going to do today is we're just going to play Gone Home. I don't know how long it is. I don't know if it's a one sitting game or not. But, we're going to play it. We're going to find out. So, new game. Walk around using WASD. Look using the mouse. You got it. I think this is a walking simulator. Like Dear Esther or Everybody's Gone to the Rapture or one of those. Um, if that's the case, then I've chosen the correct game for today because that means there is uh, very little gameplay and a lot of just enjoying the story of the game. But yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. Ooh. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Nice. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Alright, coming home from Europe. I can dig this. So when I came home from Europe, my mother was a flight attendant and got my entire family past security with a box of donuts. Which was incredible, because I love donuts. The donuts. June 7th, 1995, 1, 15 a.m. Alright. Alright, Portland. Nice. Like a hometown game. Nothing like a hometown game. See you, but it's impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Or some dog. Who knows? Don't be worried, I love you, Sam. Oh, you can you can okay, I got it. Also shift. Okay, cool. So we're already inside. Wow, we're gonna we're gonna lower that that down a little bit. Alright, us and the good old Christmas duck. We are gonna go on an adventure. It was only six bucks. That is a good Christmas duck. Alright. Christmas duck. Wow, that's that's a bit janky. Okay. Oh both the doors like Aragorn just pushing through.
Huh. Well, that's unsettling. Read the invoices. Invoice. So apparently my family is moving. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. Oh. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Alright. Let's see, anything else in here? Can I take one of these? I don't think so. What about this? Ooh, author magazine. This is this is setting us up to be freaked out, yeah? Stephen King. Blank page, how 20 top art. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Now let's put this. No. Well, obviously, this doesn't work. There you go. That's where that's supposed to be. Whereas this box, very obviously, needs to be there. I'm just gonna leave that. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're not. There goes my plan. All right, we got band-aids. We're ready to go. It's looking like sort of a point-and-click adventure game, which I am totally down for. We're just gonna have fun today. Oh, we're gonna play some messages. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Is that me? I think that's me. That's me, Katie. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. So, we've got this heart nicely placed. Okay. Got a phone. Every time I pick this up, we're going to hear the busy sound. Let's turn on some lights. Two or M to check your location in the house. Okay. Oh, there's a note that I didn't read. Whoops. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are excited for the new year and your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets for each of your six class periods. So get your trap keeper. Let's do it. One line notebook per, per period. Uh, at least six pens and six pencils. They're really setting you up for success. I like it. A standard combination lock for your assigned locker. Wait, so I have to bring the lock? That seems... I feel like that's something you should be offering to me if you're going to give me a locker. There's a lock to go along with it. A nutritious lunch or two fifty for a lunch provided by the school cafeteria. If I could buy a lunch for $2.50 right now... That's not ramen. Did anyone else just hear voices? Like, I, I I accept the fact that I'm going crazy, but did anyone else just hear voices in-game? 
Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Okay. Well, let's... Wow, that is a solid photo. Oh, it's gone now. Well, I hope we don't need that photo. Read the obituary. I peacefully last one was home. So is this the guy who used to live in this house? Yeah, practice could be a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held Sunday. Well, that's unfortunate. Wait. What did I write on this? Hi, Mom and Dad and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many things, many Parisian things, including eating le petit déjeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of films to develop when I get back. Sorry, this is the 1990s. Wonderful. Uh, so I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company, since you are my favorite sister. Love you all. The fact that it's one Arbor Hill is the thing that's weird. Okay. Close that drawer. Anything down here? This house is freaking huge. Oh my god! I had one of these as a TV stand when I was younger. What? Dawn County, Tecumseh County, and Wistaria County. So there was a voice. Okay. To stay indoors, secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Uh, any pizza? Man, they didn't even leave me any pizza when they left. Read the letter. Hi, Terry. Enclosed, please find a pioneer unit with remote and cables. We need a half-page review for the October issue, this so that gives you about two weather. weeks to get us the copy North for edit. Standard stuff like you gave us on the CLDD502. It's a combi player, so check out its CD playback with a few discs, as well as a laser disc. And they want us to definitely hit that signal-to-noise ratio and toasting stuff for higher and higher. Thank you. Looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit. So my dad is a reviewer of sorts. Ooh, can I? Nope. Didn't even explode. Also, sorry, anybody's eyeballs. We had to, we had to see that. That's my help. Making friends. This is a severe weather warning. Making friends. The Northwest Sometimes. Weather Service reports high winds with torrential rain conditions. You know that feeling? Where at the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Alrighty. So we've already got Andromeda Strain and X-Files references, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Terry! Hey man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too, mu too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature. And writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, 
and write up how it sounds and then you get paid I've included some issues of the mag to use for examples if you're interested send some samples to my editor and tell him your old college uh... yeah mike oh chum your old college chum mike sent you here's the address don't don't uh... the accidental savior November, John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? All right. I can dig it. Is there, can I put this? There you go. I'm not sure how I feel about the time machine, Fantastic Voyage, and Top Gun. Ghostbusters and Labyrinth on one VHS? Damn. Coming at the edge of the world. I really got oh, I like the music though. It's got a nice kick to it. Looked off the ocean, it went on forever. Or so it seemed. Some days she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was a black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. Ha ha! That's what you get for thinking too soon. Black ship came up alongside. Captain Black himself came out on the deck. The black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, You're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise, and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? I like how this person spells, because it's like me. The first mate yelled, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. I can dig it. Alright, let's go turn off music. I apologize. Put it back. It'll be fine. Bunch of coupons. Okay. Eraser. No. Okay. Oh, so it's we can so we can burn things. That's cool. I'm down. All right, what's in this house? Is huge. Like holy moly, this house is ridiculously large. At least side to side. I mean, maybe I've never lived in a ranch-style house before. All right, the reproductive system worksheet. Oh, so my last name is Greenbrier, nice. What do we got? Oh, this is gonna be good, isn't it? <coughs> At the top, then choose one of the two stories and rewrite it. Begin with the title in your name, find a topic sentence to begin your paragraph, put the sentences in chronological order, make sure the last sentence is a good concluding statement. Fair enough. Fair enough. Simple assignment. Rewrite it. Follow the, the directions. So which one? The menstrual cycle. It travels through the fallopian tomb. The ovum releases. Okay, so let's see what she wrote. The menstrual cycle. A novella. The early morning of September 1st, 1939. Essa Glatt stares at the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her village of Wyme in Poland. As the train rumbles along and the sun rises over the countryside, she can think only of her dear Borislav, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop as this train approaches its destination. Her heart races. The lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. <laughs> 
As Essa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. Then there, her dear Boris, still in his baker smock. He must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat. The ovary releases the ovum. It travels through the fallopian tube. I like how she just, she took it word for word. Pretty much word for word. From there, and then just wrote a story around it. Over the wheezing of the steam engines, a deep hum growls. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station. A whistling sound. Essa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bombs, reaches out towards her dear Boris across the crowd. Their eyes lock and the moment freezes. The flash and smoke envelops him almost instantly. In the assault by German forces, almost 75% of people in her hometown were killed. The rest, including Essa, and for a time, Borislav, huddle in a half-destroyed church. He is blind. His legs are missing. Bandaged with torn blood bed sheets. Essa's egg will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive. But in the end, nothing can save him. Since the landing of the uterus is not needed for pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries and po and the process begins again. It is the incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. It's a pretty good story. Pretty good story. World history. That's fair. Why wow, you can grab everything in this game. This is a little bit ridiculous. Some people are just so messy, leaving stuff all over the place. Look at Use a coaster, people! Use a coaster. Somehow I always knew that someday we be through. Now that it's happened, I just can't believe it's true. All right, we're going to make ourselves... I've done the best I could. Oh, just kidding. Keep from That's second book. Can't get you off my mind. Life once, but within the next 24 hours, there'll be another attempt. Oh. Well, I mean, you just kind of do the same thing over and over, I guess. I'm right here looking at you, honey. If it ain't me, it's my shadow. You think I sent you far away? I ain't been nowhere. What? I thought. You stay away from me, Try to cut but me. hopelessly you got enough. <laughs> you left your voodoo all around. I left Aww. my trunk in town. I mean, to be honest, man did get his book published, which is pretty incredible, right? I hear you. I dug my heart a grave for you. Mm -hmm. Your kisses keep on haunting me. Their memory won't let me be. Yes. I got a need for you. I wish you had a weed for me. Oh, tell me why. Why must I think about you? Huh. That's a lot of records we have. Tell me why. And a lot of copies of his book. Please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could send Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighter tape, and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with these games anyway. Mateo, listen to the letter. You need to spend less time with the games. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit any time. Oh. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Oh, gotta read the note. Please hold on, Dad. Sorry about the stuff that's missing. So I've come home. Sam is gone. And now she's talking to me? Can I open all of the drawers? I can. 
question is, do I want to? I guess just this last one. Let me read the note. Hey, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home, too, so hopefully that's fine. Write back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after 6th. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. I'm going to be kick your butt. Get ready. You're going to play some uh, Street Fighter. I like it. I like it. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter, too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over What's up, tomorrow. What's broccoli wizard? How have your streams of Hollow Knight been going? Well then, if that's locked, we'll just walk this way. Where are we in the house? Oh, that's to the basement. Okay. Well, let's continue our, uh... Yeah? That difficult? What did the original note say? Fury, the... Nice! Oh, senior conservationist, nice. <laughs> so you went from Fury to Hollow Knight, and it wasn't living up to your expectations. Top shelf gaming. I will have to put that on the list. Oh, check out my trophy. I'm so good at trophying. Top shelf gaming. We'll have to check that out. Is that a, it's like an action platformer, right? Okay, at least it was made in Mexico. That's good. Track trophies. Ooh, I'm first place in the long jump. Nice. So eventually we're going to have to go to the attic. I do know that. Ooh, what is this book? Oh, it's a Holy Bible. We can put that back. <clears throat> it's good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember that little dorm room we shared? I'm going to close the front door. Alright, we're not going upstairs yet. Gauntlet of boss fights. Oh, okay. Is it um in kind of the same vein as, uh, like... Like Titan Souls or anything like that? Where you have to run between them? Or is it literally just a gauntlet of boss fights? about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the drills doing? Has Katie felt on her big European adventure yet? Left. Miss you, Rumi. Carol. Oh, Thank you, Carol. Let's turn a light on. Sound effects in this game are, are spot on. Spot on. Oh, that's also locked. So, I guess we're going upstairs. Nice. Well, that sounds like an adventure. Uh, pack of cards. Put that up there for later. Well, that's a... Wow. Wow. Because Titan Souls, everybody loved Titan Souls. So, 
fits better than that. That is that is some seriously. What is that uh, Lil Wayne lyric? Top top chef. I'm top shelf. You're top rum, and I'm top chef. I believe is the lyric from that. It's not. It it didn't fit. It didn't fit as well as I wanted it to, but. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northern region over the better part of the next week. It's part of the forestry service. Run controlled. Okay, so this is why mom is out of the... Oh, no, wait, hold on. This is last year. Oh, here we go. In addition to removing and overgrowing vegetation, for a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel involved, said senior conservationist Janice Greenbrier, smoke will likely linger in the area through the following weekend. As a person who has been in a place that has been on fire recently, uh, the smoke definitely does linger. Alright, pack of cards. You're coming with me. Alright, pack of cards. Ooh, a comb. It's like a leopard print comb. Remember those from back in the day? Planner. Man, I wish that I could read cursive better. Examine the form. Personnel transfer. Hmm. So, my mother got transferred. My father's a writer. Scene conservation is charged with supervision of transfer personnel. The duration of transfer will be based upon performance evaluation as well as the recommendation of the overseer. Okay. So things are going okay, just not great for my family. Oh my! <laughs> it functions. It functions like an actual cassette, sort of. Oh wait, there's actually something inside. Okay, let me read this. Love thing, stab, cherry bomb, PCD. Oh, it's the okay. Yeah. Oh. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Oh, that's cool. So she, so Sam had to move here. Uh, her older sister left. She's trying to make friends. Uh, Daniel doesn't get his game back because Daniel's mom does not want him to get his game, that game back. All right, let's read the sternly worded. Yeah. It is kind of weird that there is no, like, make this readable button. Because that's how it was in, like, Life is Strange or the Telltale series, that sort of things. Is when you're reading things, you can choose to read it in just plain text as well, which is very nice. To my concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old, and I'm therefore an independent, fully functioning human being. Legally, nope. Not unless you've emancipated yourself from your parents. You have to be 18 for that. Maybe in 1995 the rules were different. I don't know. I was only five years old. Five years old at that point. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three, count them, three, years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean and another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own. Like a human being. And since you... I like how her... Okay, so I enjoy the little details in games, and this one 
you can see her writing gets worse. It gets more sloppy as it goes down the page, which I don't know if you've ever had to write an entire paper by hand back in the day, but when I lived in Italy, my host family didn't allow me to use a computer, so I had to write everything by hand, and by the end of it, it was pretty much unreadable. Um, so that's, I, I like that, that that happened. It becomes harder to read because she's just kind of going at it. Uh, I have my own car now. You can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter Samantha. Oh. Is this Samantha's room? This has got to be Samantha's room. Let's turn off the TV and turn on some lights. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Is there a basketball? Oh, I guess I need to find the combination. Where might... Aha! Oh, these are Chun-Li moves. Just kidding. Kick, 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 kick. What are you? Adventurous the cat returns! You know, I I almost would believe that this was a game. I'm strongly inclined to say that it's not, but... Oh. Is this one of those where you have to stare at it for a long time? Or the, the like... the 3D puzzles. Nope. Oh, sweet, more games. Super Spitfire, all right. And Journey of the Crystal. You know, they might be. It doesn't give me a lick option, though. And I don't know enough about doing LSD to know if you can put it on your eyeball and if it works the same that way. If, if it did, I would be very, like, do people rub LSD on their eyeballs? Yeah, we're so cool, cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, too. Close, come on. Well, let's do it. Let's scrutinize. Entire chapter. Well, now that I've got LSD eyes and some great, great music on in the background, Captain Allegra. Oh man, this is more Captain Allegra. Wait, hold on, I have to go turn off the music because I can't read. I'm sorry, I apologize. Let's read this note. Well, now that we're on LSD, everything is way clearer. Way clearer. I wrote this in the first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Man, she's quite the artist. That's a solid... You know how hard it is to draw motorcycles? I might be preaching to the choir here. As if you're creating your own game, you might also have to do art assets for it. But motorcycles are freaking hard. What are actually doing is sending each other pages in their beepers. Yeah, because all the cool kids had pages in the 95. All right. Oh, wait, no, hold on. There's a second page of the note. The drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should... You should just stick to writing, though. How'd you know about that? I were attacked. I'm looking for Mr. Fish right now. Puffish? I'm gonna go with fish. 
I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like his secret shame is he watches 90210 religiously. Awesome about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see it in his eyes that he was lying. Just like you can see it in our eyes that we have done LSD via eye. Putting it on our eyeballs. God, that's so. Ah! Oh. This is. I mean, these were definitely written at different times under different circumstances. So there's. Bach! Bach! This game! I'm not sure why I'm bocking, but whatever. What is this? Yeah, I'm grabbing that book. Wow, we are really into the Holy Bible in this house. F is for special, A is for adorable, M is for merry, A is for affectionate, N is for nice, T is for thoughtful, H is for honest, A is for admirable. There's a lot of A's in there. And they got one for every single A on there. Nice. Well done. Ooh, board game. Wasn't this an actual, like, wasn't there really a board game like this? Where you had to call up your friends on prom night? I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, put, put crap on anything, but I'm pretty sure I saw, back in the day, man, I saw an advertisement for that. For a board game that is exactly that. It also might be the LSD kicking in. I'm not, I'm not rightly sure. Alright. <gasps> Steli! Oh, wait, hold on. Steggy. It's Steggy, not Steli. What kind of a sister am I? Okay, maybe it's 1967? Maybe that's the uh, the code that we have to put in. Exclusive AIDS in Africa. It's not. It's not that. It's, I mean, it's not exclusive to Africa. Just saying. Veruca Salt. Isn't that a raw doll character? Wait, hold on. 1967. Let's try it. That combination did not work. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Oh, cool. Beyond the benefits of the program itself, three students each year will be offered a full scholarship for their first year at Reed. Wait, Reed College? A very good friend of mine went to Reed College, and it is a fantastic college. He did physics there, but yeah. Full time sector by Reed's admission board. Educators at student schools have been provided with documentation outlining the specific requirements for each track and processes for submitting portfolio and applications. Students accepted to the program will be notified at the beginning of the calendar year 1995. Also, the same friend is a concert pianist, and I don't know if he already has his PhD or is pursuing his PhD in physics. But anyways, I think everyone should have a friend like that. Uh, it keeps you humble. Nope. Yep. Okay. Nail polish, can... What is this button? Oh, the Misfits. Nice. Huh. Wow, she's really into like pirates. Where am I in the house? Still Sam's room, sort of. 
I like how Lonnie really likes writing in red. Do you want to go see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. Wow, Pulp Fiction came out in 95. That was a while ago. I thought it came out in the 80s, but that's because I'm bad at timelines. I was supposed to cook dinner for us. But I can just ditch it. Probably. Oh, That's unfortunate. Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess even Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15 okay? Don't barf. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you then. Barfing hamburger. Cheeseburger. Barf barfing cheeseburger. We are, we are actually just going to turn on all the lights in here. Oh, toilet paper. There you go. Oh. Good. I put the toilet paper in the correct spot. Okay. Do not apply to scalp. Saturate hair thoroughly evenly. Okay. So it's not the blood. Her hair dye it's hair dye. Today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Oh. oh. Postcard. This is. I. First relationships, man. They're always too hard. Okay. Wait. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright. Dear Mom, Dad, and Sam, I am in the channel. This is my second patch is through the channel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. Put that back. Earth, Wind, and Fire, Willie Nelson. Man, these guys have really diverse tastes in music. Also, more LSD. More, more evidence that LSD is in this family. <laughs> There's nothing I don't hate right now. Because I made her pick it up. Jeez, some people just leave without. Okay, so what do we have here? Butch Cassidy, all the president's men. Inside edition. The sound of music. Silence of the lambs. That one that I don't know. Nope. Man, these family photos are all lovingly crafted. Horrors in life 
stills. Are you water class looking to improve your skills? So was Bradford Gregory once. Now he's the best. not going back in, is it? Mm, underwear drawer. More underwear drawer. Oh, there's a skylight in this room. Okay. Where am I in the house? Okie dokie. Comb, toothpaste, cinnamon. I can deal. So why can't I open those? Shaving cream. So I don't know what's missing. But I do know that Sam has taken off. After the honeymoon, recovering your spouse personally. Oh. At least they're trying. At least they're trying. They have a condom. They're figuring out how to rediscover each other, which is a thing. They seem to able to spark you and your spouse share and your honeymoon should fade over time, but it doesn't have to. Part one. Steps to reopen the lines of communication between you and your spouse, allowing you to face the problems you share as partners. Leverage is a reverence decade of servants to God, helping you. Wow, we really like God in this household. That's, I mean, that's pretty well established. There have been several Bibles, and the reverend is telling us how to get back with our spouse. Let's flush that toilet. I'm just going to leave that one on, see if it floods the house. Have a good time. You know. Ooh, there's a note by this door. That looks ominous. That's the attic. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Katie, I don't appreciate this. Why is everything still so unpacked? It's been almost a year. Maybe it's because it's my stuff? Ghost Hunter Journal. Sightings. So is she going off hunting ghosts now? A tall shot in the upstairs hall. When around the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Oscar? I was not wearing my glasses. Okay, so she wears glasses. Uh, she made friends with Lonnie, or Lainey. And now she's seeing ghosts in the haunted house. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said, Hella. Hello. Not Hella. I said Hella. Did not necessarily. It probably was the furnace. Okay. So most of these are in the AM, the early morning. This one's in the afternoon, though. Poured milk from carton and fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can spoil milk. Milk was bought just yesterday. Okay. And then we're at new October. She feels a presence. Lonnie, okay. And here in the TV room, I suddenly began to feel cold. We built a protective pillow for it. Good call. Good call. As we all know, ghosts hate pillows. It's a well-known fact. It's a well-known fact all throughout the miso mythos that ghosts hate pillows. When I employed Ouija board as a medium, disturbing messages are con conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. This is Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic, probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. So now we know that there are ghosts here. Hey, Sam. 
You're asking what my mm, JRTC ribbons meant. And here's a handy guide. And we get to learn some things about JR JROTC. Orienteering. Rifle team. <laughs> the army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Uh, adventure training. I'm about to burn adventures and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. I am a born adventuress. And that's why you read. That's why you learn to read. So you don't end up like me. Uh, so it, you don't think I was cool before. Now you do, Lonnie. We gotta turn on all the lamps. Gotta make sure that none of the ghosts are here. This would have been a pretty cool bedroom. Put uh, like a desk over here. Fill these up. Maybe move these to the other side so you can hang out in there. I like how old this is. I like the uh, all the cool stuff. Almost oh, like a painting room. Oh, another cassette. Heavens to Betsy, nothing can stop me. There we go. Put that in. Let's listen to a little bit of a... While I examine this form. Alright. Wow, she is so good at everything. That's super loud. Oh man, that is very loud. My apologies. I did not realize how loud that was. Alright. Ranger Pashmatcher has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution. Oh, it's not Janice. Janice is the supervising person. Okay. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. All right, Richard. You go, man. Very, very loud. All right. Halloween show, The Misfits. She has a button from The Misfits. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. What? But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. Ooh. I think she could tell. Wait a second. Did Sam run off with his Lonnie to go make it in the big city? Don't look here, it says. Okay. Lonnie, holy crap. I was in the library and noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage. Ooh. All right. Now we gotta go find this secret passage. It has Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Got to see this. We're skipping six. So, I need to go into the closet from Mom and Dad's room. All right. Oh, it's it's marked on the map. Okay. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. It's locked. Okay. 
And I just... Okay, we're gonna get out of there. I've triggered... Something terrible. Just... Just awful. I don't know if I could have done that before. A real chance that I could have, I just didn't. Holy moly. Alright, what do we got here? Examine the map. Ghost Hunter, Sam and Lonnie, Secret House, Investigation Log. Hidden Compartments 3. Library Upstairs Hall Foyer. Evidence of the supernatural discovered? Zero. The search continues. Okay. So, secret compartment here, here, and there. Alright. Oh, nice little crucifix. Oh, shit! All the power just went out. I am legit terrified. Can I... I don't think I was in here before. Yeah, that's definitely... Okay. So I was not in here before. Okay. Oh, there we go. The accidental, the accidental prophet. The, oh, this is him trying to name his book. I got it. There is there any way to turn on the lights? I don't like this not having lights on thing. Fortunately, I can read the letter in darkness. Dear Terrence. David asked me to write regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit, and it's your job to stay under it, and not mine to cut it back. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from, from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater t Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. Okay, so my dad's losing his mind. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's a ton of guys half your age who would ha take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on the say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. The note, everybody will be happy. Uh, 0451. Let's go see if that works upstairs. So long as it's still open. Zero four five one. We're gonna we're gonna try and get into our sister's locker. Four, five, one. Nope, that's not it. Okay. We do have to go back through the uh, the passage, though. And I don't think I can go any faster than this. Oh, there's there's lights. Oh! Wow. Well, there you go. Dad reads Playboy. Alright, roof for parents of teens. They've been having trouble. The Misfits! At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, 
My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Can't close those, apparently. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Wow. So, Dad's kind of a conspiracy guy. Remote back like double sided play. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not the question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market, for a combination laser disc compact disc player, you'd be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular vision. I like how he's left his work like just half finished. Just chilling. Whereas uh it's not dad's office, it's next to dad's office. How did I not get in here before? Alright, uh I'm gonna be right back. I gotta use the restroom real quick and refresh my water cup. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the chair for a second, and I'll be back. and we're back. Does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. Are there any deficiencies? The house is technically up to safety and average requirements. However, multiple areas of wiring have been added to construction in the last hundred years. The system is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Interesting. Where's the pa that's the panel. Okay, so we got fifty dash one. Oh, so I haven't even come across it yet. Private do not read. And her scouting party peered down wearily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch. <coughs> 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 Whew. 
doing great. Doing great. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry. Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian up to her pedest up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted, No! and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hands, but it was too late. You gotta two, two O's, two O's here. You gotta get yourself an editor. Got to, you know, maybe, maybe it wouldn't have fit on the line, but, you know, got a two O's here. Too late. The first mate screamed as she fell towards the water, then splashed down, and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a movement too late. Yeah, she knew. She knew. She'd fix it later. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge, a head of a dark brown hair, just like the first mate's, and then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at her were the eyes, the face, and the hair and hands of the body of a woman. Still in the first mate's clothes. Still the first mate. He, she, spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? The Amazonian queen said, She is one of us now. She is ours. I don't know why she's got the... Mobster from the 30s voice going on, but whatever. Allegra grew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt, and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared at the queen's eyes and said, That's the love of my life, and you can't have her. Boom! Alright, now I gotta go find the other, the other panel, which is upstairs. I'm very, very curious as to where Sam is. Where, where are we looking at? Right there. Go forward, take a left. I think it's down this hallway, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Zero, five, zero, one. Okay. Sorry, Sam. All of your features. Hello. Who are you? Oscar. Who wants to come back? That's creepy. That's close. All right. Lonnie came over today. Everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> nice. Wow, the basement is way down here. Oh, potato chips. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for leaving, having me Thanksgiving holiday in your lovely family. I enjoyed the potatoes, and also it was weird being around your parents for that long. But it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 20, 30 seconds at a time. Fairly cordially yours, your close friend and confidant. Ooh. So, Sam's a lesbian. 
Lonnie is her first girlfriend. Dear Miss Soto. DeSoto? I had a I had a student teacher with was a DeSoto. Nice. Allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities. At your father's estate, following the aforementioned meal with my parents, your family's Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who was a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again, same time next year, shall we? Indeed. Madame Samantha Greenbrier Esquire. Nice. Aww. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Amazing, intelligent, talented, lighthearted, important, and nice. We're both nice. Nice. Well done, parents. Oh man, one of my old sex ed assignments. Oh, I had to do the same assignment as Samantha did. I'm sorry to develop. While the is developing, my uterus. Well, I'm much more uh, by the book, as it were. I mean, sperm resolves two weeks later. Since the lining of the uterus is not needed for pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. When the ovum starts to develop, when the ovaries, the process begins again. It's incredible how the female body knows how to prevent pregnancy. Wow, she was. Um, my sister is way more fun. I would date my sister, except for that she wouldn't date me because, you know, I'm not female. I like how we have like a wood burning furnace down here. University of Oregon Press. Man, my grandfather was awesome. Um. Why? Why are we cutting grandfather's face off of things? Two halves customized with up to ten letters names. Oh! She did run away with her lover! Or she's up in the attic. We don't know. Thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. The author's first public manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I sat and my son is in the subject matter. The author's work is the externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in res this respect, I believe your work was successful. Ooh, we're about to get literary slammed right here. But the lens through which the personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible dime store science fictional Dave's Ex Machina. The great author speaks of their life's melu in clear and honest tones. The lens crystal that refracts their thoughts without distortion. I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication, and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily, but I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better. Wow. Talk about having to impress your dad. Holy crap. We just, we're just going to put you back. Going to put you back. Nope. Mom's citizenship. Oh. Well, that's cool. So, mom was not a citizen, and now she is. <clears throat> I 
Oh. See, a Spanish lesson. I'm so happy that you like the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. You need to be able to tell. You love Mexico, I think, probably. The nature here is totally different from back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together, out there in the wilderness together, and I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed, and I can almost feel you. I'm trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job again, okay? But I tried. Oh. So she had to move to Mexico. Her last letter got to me the day before we start driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get there first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. To amor. X Ray Specs! My favorite band. So, this is not a story about Katie. This is a story about Sam. Cub Scout. Full Mod Authority. So, if we were to listen to all of the stuff. Um... Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So, Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Where is she shipping out to? Oh, this might be where we get the uh, accommodation. Oh. Wait, does that? It definitely does have uh, another place off of it. Well, Noma Falls. Be from Noma Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip. It's so stupid because it's March, and I don't know if anyone's running the school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. It's true. It's true. If you've never been to Oregon in March, it's it's kind of crappy. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit! Here you come. Nice. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. That's but true. I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, oh. Katie. Stick with the group. Don't do it. Don't stick with the group. Forge your own path. That's just an examine, not a hard enough. Kicking against the patriarchy. All right. So this is Lonnie and Katie here on the back. They really like chips. I don't blame them. Girl justice now. Okay. Still. Still no pizza. Read the letter. So basically what I've learned in this game is about um, reading. And learning what's happening to Samantha after she met Lonnie. I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. And it showed initiative as well as 
and was well written, but it does not change my mind on this matter. While I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, and the fact of the matter that she has defaced school property with profanity, the fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other students have been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward. Yeah, because if they did, they'd be frickin' idiots. And there's been no convincing evidence to as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began the whole incident in the first place. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to... lie? About who she is? She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Oh, this is behind the locked door. I gotta turn on some lights so I can see things. The bitch last night. All right. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away, and then when she's home, she's taking it out on you. Like, because you're not a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it, and I'm sorry. She's jealous of her cool freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky your mom lives... My mom lives in Florida. You have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is... And her is an eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? Kill me now. No, she says. Offer a promotion. To the exemplary management of the Flintook, you have been offered a promotion. Responsible for operations throughout Northwestern Oregon. Nice. Well done, Mom. The systems be sought to fill your previous position on site at the Flintlock National Forest. Your new posting will be the regional management building located in Bullhorn Road, which should be much more convenient for your daily commute. Please respond as soon as possible regarding your decision. Very much look forward to your reply. This house just keeps getting bigger and bigger, by the way. Huh. All right. Is this, uh... Yep. Guardian angel up above. Bless this house with lots of love. And a bow tie. Holy crap. Read note. Ooh. I'm so glad I can read in the dark. This gold is the coolest thing I found in Mexico. And it was like three bucks. I love it. Merry Christmas. Treasure it always. Oh, that's where the note came from. There we go. Alright, so this is the dining room. Oh, so the plan that we saw definitely had this area in it. Then we're going to have to go back into the attic and figure this out. Oh, you're going over there. Did you take care of our forest? Read note. There we go. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for you, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music 
rears his ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra chicken that I thought you might be interested. More than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Aw, Rich! What a guy. What a guy. Nope, nothing in there. Is that a button? The Gits. Man, so many good bands. I don't, I don't know anything about these bands. I don't. I know absolutely nothing. The sound design is on point, though. Postcard, and then we'll go see what is in there. This is uh, Piazza del Popolo in Italy, in Rome. Nice. This vacation is weird. Now, as you see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, mom. We'll have to come back here together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam. They have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come too. Next up, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't be getting gored by a bull. Excuse me. Also, I think the only light in this room is over that way. From where I was sitting. Wow. The details, man. The details. This is a note disciplinary referral. Inappropriate in the school grounds. One calls student parents out of school supervision. Okay. So if you're just out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that you're absolutely clear. You're grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand what you're going through, but we can't allow you to continue to this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, you won't be allowed to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so it doesn't happen again. I had an interesting talk with Mom and Dad tonight. One you are never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. So, wait, hold on. Go to journals. Oh, wow. These journals are actually, like, dated. Huh. All right. Catch up. Um, cheese. And bottle of Coke. That's what I'm having for dinner. with the red cup. Okay. That's good. You can go back, grab that plate. I made the plate disappear. 
Ba -ba. Okay. We'll read this story. Smith and Dana were in the woods one day. It was sunny, and they were on another adventure. They went to the part of the woods, and it got dark. Then he said, uh, Are you scared? So Samantha said, No, are you? Then they went into the more bad part. Oh my god. Uh... Oh, it's a pirate ship on the ocean. Uh, I am captain and say stupid scaring away. Nice. Daniel finally came over to get his game. Oh, it's Daniel. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how he used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Oh, we're gonna leave on all the lights. Read the letter. Uh, ooh, right. Hey, we're in 1995. We started in 1994. We are now into 1995. That is the progression through this house. Having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on your new position as Regional Conservation Director of the State Forestry Service. Wish you luck in your final weeks. On May 1st. All right. So that was April 10th. We are in September. I think it was September 7th is what it said, yeah? That was another version of it. All right. Under one invention. Uh, firstly, I uh, hope you're massive. Mister finds you well. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not. We're not the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creepy fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We traffic in the weird, the ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged-in bibliophiles type of out there mass market shunning visionaries expressing that uh, refuse to be taken on anything, refuse to be taken anything but its own terms. Wow, I cannot read. Welcome to the illiteracy stream. Let's do it. We've had an unparalleled run since our interception Inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie like timeless works such as uh, Message of the Shakespeare, It's Inside Me, and Vesuvian Flesh Traders. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your Accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Beach, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's just the kind of forgotten portal into 20th century civilization's anxieties and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick-swinging horses of the modern suburban America wants, but John Russell, mild-mannered insurance agent by day, reckless history-revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves, and it is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do we do from you? What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new forward to the book to appear in brand new editions of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Pariah to be produced by unknown dimensions as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want to offer you a portion of the proceeds contract to follow assuming you're interested in coming along with this on this weird odyssey. We look forward to embarking with you and to entrusting your work Screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time. When was this written? March 28th, 1995. Now we're basically outside. 
Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 3rd through 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor. $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. I think that's this weekend. Is it not? Uh, she took the money, though. There is a crap ton of pizza. That's that's true. That is true. I guess I need to go back down. I don't want to grab old milk. Ugh. Crumbled up note. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have to run the whole house whole house till you leave. I imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking out to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. Let's, that'll show them. Lonnie, you're gross. Never change. All right. So now we know what's going on. More or less. So we need to get back downstairs. Yep. All righty. I did not see anything that resembled uh so oh did I just not go far enough past it because there's no like wall there. Because there's a whole st a, a bunch of stuff over here. To the attic. Oh, so I have a map of everything. Oh, no, that's just... Where? Where? Oh, because there's a second floor. Okay. So I still have the greenhouse, the laundry, and the washroom. Good, it doesn't work. There we go. This probably, if I could read it, would be great. Oh, God, it remains very pleased with I believe this arrangement shall hold for some time. I have no idea what the combination is. Yep, I'm going to have to go up a floor. Oh, I've got items. All right, um, I'm going to have to take a break. I will be back. We're going to finish this and then play some Where Is My Heart a little bit later. Um, so that'll be fun. I do need to take a break, though. So we're going to save and quit to main menu. And I will see all of you lovely people here in a bit. Peace.